So this is day six, or week six, of getting to know your internal guidance system. I would like for you to focus at this time on your mind as the storyteller. Your mind has a whole body of stories that it has made up that we call the ego. Okay, the ego, like I said before, the ego matrix is just experiences and situations that the mind has been through where it has felt pain or not gotten what it's wanted or gotten what it's wanted or felt pleasure and it's consistently trying to take in the external world and move you away from suffering and into getting what you desire. But it doesn't have all the information to do that. And what happens is, is in order to do that, it makes up a bunch of stories. So for instance, I'll give you a perfect ego story or story that the mind creates. You call somebody, they don't call you back. You wait a day or two, you call somebody again, they don't call you back. The mind will now go into a couple of scenarios, depending on who you are. One could be, they don't like me, they're avoiding me. Another could be reviewing every last situation that you've had with that person to find out what you've done wrong. Another could be, well, to hell with them, I don't want them in my life anyways. Your mind will start its story. It has really nothing to do with you. It has nothing to do with where you want to go. But I can promise that most often, probably about 95% of the time, the story tear that your mind gets on about something is closing you. It causes a lot of stress and anxiety has nothing to do with the reality of the situation. The person could have lost their phone. They could have, we all get busy, they may not have gotten, they've been able to get back to you in time. They may be on vacation and not even have their phone with them, or be answering their phone, or checking their messages. Lord knows, everybody on the planet does not need to be within access reach of us in any given second. The point is, much suffering and reality that we do not want to be creating with our thoughts comes from the stories that our mind creates. So this week, what I'd like for you to do is watch your story. Watch it with divine fascination. When you notice that you're thinking about how this person hasn't called you back, notice if you think about some manipulative way that you could leave a message on their answering machine to know that they must call you back right away. Notice if you're thinking about never talking to them again because of this whole story that you have going on. And instead of getting hooked into it emotionally, because last week, in last practice, you focused on the seed, find the moment where that starts and just simply say to yourself, fascinating. Isn't it fascinating where I'm going with this? What ends up happening is you begin to unravel the story because you, it closes you. And as soon as you start looking at it as fascinating, you're disconnecting from the mind as a trigger, you're disconnecting from the mind as being true, and your IGS is what you start listening to. When you recognize your story, and you'll notice that it's closing you, you'll be able to bounce out of it faster and let go of that, that story. You'll be able to let go of that habitual thought that's creating suffering in your life and trying to manipulate and control the world around you. So this week, pay attention to all of the rejection thoughts, the angry thoughts. Notice where your mind goes.